Hi guys, Saloni this side and welcome back to our channel Codera. So guys, this is the sixth video of our SQL tutorial series. And in the last video, we installed MySQL server and MySQL workbench in the Windows machine. So if you want to install MySQL, then please check out that video. And the video link is in the description box. And in today's video, we will talk about the MySQL workbench. So let's start the discussion. So guys, MySQL Workbench is an inbuilt GUI tool of MySQL which provides different facility like SQL development where we can execute SQL queries and we can also create database in table with or without SQL queries and not only this, you can also insert, delete and update the database in table without the queries. So here we can easily manage our databases. And MySQL Workbench also provides data modeling, data migration, administration tools for server configuration, user administration, backup and you can also create ER diagrams using Workbench. So basically the purpose of MySQL Workbench is to provide the interface or GUI to work with the database more easily and in more structured way. So to open MySQL Workbench just click on this search icon and type mysql so it will show you many options so just select this one and it will open mysql workbench so guys this is the interface of the mysql workbench here you can see there are so many options and here also so this is the dashboard and here you can do data modeling and this option is for the data migration but we don't go for this options we will select this one and from here you can see the local instance of mysql is already created by the mysql and if you want to create new connection then just click on this plus icon and here type the name of your connection so for now i am typing saloni as new connection and just click on the ok button so this is very simple our new connection is created so to connect with this connection you just need to double click on this so it will open a window for you here you have to type your password so just type your password and click the ok so this is our working area of mysql workbench so here there is a navigator bar in the left side where you will see all the schemas or databases available here schema is just another word for the database so this is is the default database created by the mysql and in this tab you will see all the table inside that particular database so here there is only one table so now let's create one new database so to create a new database you have to click this icon or you can also right click in the navigator section and select create schema and here you have to give the name to your database or the schema so i am giving the name as college db and then click the apply button so as you can see it will execute the required query whatever the action you will select so here click on the apply button and finish so here you can see our database is created and for now there is no table inside this database so to create a new table inside this database first we have to select the database so to select a database double click on that particular database so here you can see it will highlight that database so now let's create one new table so for this either you can click on this icon or you can right click on the tables and select create table so here you can create a new table so first we will give a name to a table so i will give the name as student and then we will add some column to this table so to add a column click on this icon and then here give the name of your column so let's say i am giving the name as id and its data type is integer and you can also select that your id will be primary key not null unique and so many other options are available now let's create one more column let's say it is student name and its data type is where care 
or you can also select any other data type according to your column and then it will also be not null and again I will create one more column as age so again the age will be of integer type so I will select the integer from here after that click on this apply button so you can see MySQL Workbench will automatically execute the required query for the action. So just click on this apply button and then finish. So here in the action you can see apply changes to the student and the changes are applied. So now you can check the tables. Okay so our student table is created. And if you will click on this button then it will show you the data of the table. But right now there is no data available in this table. So now let's insert some data into this table. So for this just double click on this column and then enter your data. So the ID will be 1. Student name will be Saloni and the age is 20. After that the again you can enter some more data according to your requirement. Like here is 2. The name of student is Mark and the age is 21. So after inserting the data, you have to click this apply button. So again, you can see the MySQL workbench will execute the query for the required action. Here is the query. So now click on the apply and then finish. So now this data is successfully inserted in our table. You can see this query is executed in our data is inserted so if you want to check the data is successfully inserted or not just click on this option so you can see our data is inserted so this is how you can create a database table and also you can insert some data in the table and guys mysql workbench provide you so many features so suppose if you want to export this database so just go on this administration tools and then select data export after that you have to enter your password then click ok then you can select the required database that you want to export so for now i'm selecting college db and then from here you can select the different options available like dump data only or structure only but for now i will dump data and the structure both and then from here you can start export so it will export your data and the location will be in the document it will create a new folder called dump like this so let's check our data is successfully exported or not so in the document folder a dumps folder is created and inside this our college db is successfully exported so now suppose if you want to import this database into the MySQL workbench. So first let's delete the existing database. So just right click on the selected database and select drop schema and then drop now. So you can see our schema is dropped and here action says drop database college db and it is successful. So now let's import the table from the exported database. So for this let's create one new database. So here I will give the name of the database is college. And then click apply. Finish. So our database is created. Now we will import the tables from the previous database. So click on the administration tool and then select data import or reuse. So from here select this import from self contained file and then from here you can navigate to your folder. So just select this one. After that from here you can select the database. So we will select the new database which is college and then in the import progress select start import. So our table is successfully imported. You can check it from here just refresh it and then in the college you can see our student table is here you can also check out the data so you can see how simple is this 
सो गाइस माई स्कूल वर्क बेंच प्रोवाइड यू सो मेनी फैसिलिटीज और डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फीचर्स लाइक यू कैन ऑल्सो क्रिएट द ई आर डायग्राम ऑफ दिस टेबल सो लेट सी हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट सो फॉर दिस गो टू दिस डेटा बेस ऑप्शन एंड सिलेक्ट रिवर्स इंजीनियर एंड देन फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन सिलेक्ट योर कनेक्शन सो आई विल सिलेक्ट सलोनी एंड देन क्लिक ऑन द नेक्स्ट बटन आफ्टर दैट टाइप योर पासवर्ड एंड देन ओके एंड देन क्लिक ऑन द नेक्स्ट बटन एंड फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन सिलेक्ट योर डेटा बेस and select next again next and then execute after that select this next button and then finish so guys you can see this is the er diagram of this table and here so many options are available like here you can also add one more table like this and if you will double click on this table then you will see the same options that we have seen previously so from here you can add column data type which is exactly same as we just seen so guys in the mysql workbench you can perform so many operations like here you can do data modeling here you can create the er diagram and obviously we can do sql development here and there is one option for the data migration so so many options are available in the mysql workbench and guys in the complete sql tutorial series we will use this workbench for the sql query execution and the agenda of this series is to practice queries because here you just select the options and mysql workbench executes the query for you but this is not the right way if you want to learn sql then you have to write the queries and execute them so in this sql series we will write the sql queries manually we won't use any of this options and i have created this video just because i want to show you that how many options are available in the mysql workbench so this is just for the sake of your knowledge we will not create any database or table something like this So guys that's all about this video and in the next video we will learn SQL commands so guys keep watching code era and don't forget to like this video and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching